Hello Eat Sleep Dreamers, I hope you're good, I hope you're well. Today I'm doing a slightly different video to answer a question that I get asked by you guys a lot. Tom, why did you become a teacher? Let's start at the beginning. I was born in the winter of 1983 in London, England. My first words were mama and... Whoa, we don't need to go that far back, Tom. Let's start at the beginning of my teaching career. So, I qualified as a teacher in 2007, which means that I have been a teacher for 10 years. That's right, people. I'm celebrating my 10th anniversary as an English teacher. Come on, get on with it. <laughs> Uh, anyway, all right, joking aside, I'd like to talk about why I became a teacher and also why I continued to be a teacher. That's all coming up after this. The first reason I wanted to become a teacher was to travel. I've always been fascinated by traveling and I used to love looking at maps as a kid. Uh, I'd watch travel programs and I was very lucky that my parents took my sister and I to some amazing places when we were young. But the thing was that I didn't just want to go on holiday to these places. I wanted to live there and work there and really get to know the local culture. So I went and lived in Spain for a year um, working as a teacher. Then I went to Argentina um, and worked there for a year as a teacher. And then finally I moved to Hong Kong and I was a teacher there for three and a half years. And in each one, it was my English students that showed me so much of the local culture. They would take me to local uh, restaurants, um, they would teach me some of the, the local language, and just talk about what it's like to come from those places. And that was uh, like the most amazing experience. I mean, there is nothing better than living and working in a different culture and learning from the local people. And I've just been so lucky that teaching has allowed me to travel the world and get to know so many amazing people. And what's really cool is that I'm still friends with some of the students that I taught like eight years ago, seven years ago. It's, that's pretty cool. My next reason for becoming a teacher was to work with people and to help them achieve their goals, their ambitions and their dreams. There are so many reasons why you guys learn English. It could be because you want to go to university. It could be because you need it for work. Uh, maybe you want to go traveling and to speak in English or maybe you want to watch a TV series or listen to music and there is no better feeling honestly there is no better feeling in the world than helping someone to achieve their goal whatever it is that's that's priceless that, that genuinely is like an incredible feeling I've helped FC students and CA students to pass their exams and I, the feeling of pride when I see them see that they've passed that is that's that special that really is and as a teacher you've got a huge responsibility to do the best for your students um, to help them and that's a great motivation and I think if you help someone you're putting good things out there in the world and that's yeah I love that <laughs> I'm hugely passionate about learning and not just English I'm talking about all types of learning I, I think it's it's the single most important thing that we can do. I mean, there, there is nothing more exciting than finally understanding something that we didn't know before. That, there's no better feeling, like, that's it. <laughs> I think for a lot of people, their learning experience at school wasn't a positive one. Um, so as a teacher, I get to help people fall in love with uh, learning again. I get to be creative, um, and I also get to show people how learning can be fun, it can be funny, it can be enjoyable, um, and it can be an amazing feeling. The fourth reason I wanted to become a teacher was to share my culture with people around the world. The classroom is a great place to talk about different cultures and how they see the world. And I've been lucky enough to be able to share my culture with my students around the world, and in turn, listen to and understand their cultures. There's this amazing quote by one of my heroes, Michael Palin, which basically says, if only we understood more about each other's cultures, then maybe the world would be a more peaceful place. 
and I completely agree. And the final reason that I became an English teacher was my mum. My mum was uh, an amazing English teacher and she was my inspiration. She supported me, she encouraged me, and she helped me to realise the importance of teaching as a profession. So if it wasn't for her, I, well, there wouldn't be an Eat Sleep Dream English. So she is my fifth and most important reason. So guys, I've told you the reasons why I have become a teacher, why I am a teacher, and I'd like you to share with me the reasons why you're here, why you are learning English. That helps me to create better lessons for you um, and to help you achieve your goals and your dreams. So tell me in the comments below, why are you learning English? And yeah, I can't wait to find out and to talk to you about it. All right guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. And I can't wait to see you again really soon.